It's been a while since singer-songwriter Tim Sharon has joined me on Good Morning Florida Keys. Tim has been staying very busy, touring all over the country. He's actually down here in the Keys for a quick concert, and he's spending the majority of his time in Miami Beach. Now, before I bring Tim on the show, I want you to enjoy this quick video of Tim performing live for rock star Brett Michaels. Tim, you are one busy man. <laughs> Tell us how life on the road is. Well, it's been great. Um, this past year, we, we had the opportunity to open for Brett Michaels of Poison um, in Massachusetts and Scotty McCreary from American Idol and uh, Randy Travis right before his infamous uh, car crash <laughs> where he ran down the street naked. Right. <laughs> and uh, who else? Um, a whole, a whole, we got to hang out with a bu whole bunch of other people and play a lot of really great shows, so mm -hmm. it's been fantastic. This past year was great, and this year coming up is, is already uh, starting off with a bang. So. Well, let's talk about this coming year. Right now, you, you're in Key West because you had a concert this past weekend, correct? Yes, the Rockaway Cancer. Mm -hmm. um, it's like a really nice festival on, on Duval Street where they block off the street, and they have all the bars are open, all the vendors are out, and all the chili cook-off and all that, and then they have the big stage in the middle of the street. and so. Um, Yes, that's a, it's, a, it's a great event for a great cause. Mm -hmm. So we only got you for a couple of days in mm -hmm. Key West because you are kind of based right now in Miami for a couple months, right? Yeah, we're, we're in Miami for a few months, and I've been working with a, a, a program. Of, it's like a boot camp for musicians and um, aspiring artists, and um, it's called IDA, I-D-A, uh, Inspire and Develop Artists. And we have, um, it's basically four mentors that take kids or actually people from of, of any age at any level of their career and uh, it's a week-long boot camp mm -hmm. so we have uh, people like David Frangioni who's been with Aerosmith uh, as their engineer for 20 years um, Rudy Perez who was voted by Billboard the producer of the decade wow. uh, from 2000 to 2010 um, and Mark Hudson who has worked with and produced and wrote for Aerosmith living on the edge um, Hanson, Celine Dion, um, Ozzy, Ringo Starr, and um, John Scotta, the singer. Mm -hmm. So those are the people that everybody learned from. Wow. Everybody learns from, and um, it's 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 a really inspiring program, even for me. You know, uh, just to work with them is is really great and become friends with them. So uh, if anybody's interested, check out idaprogram.com, mm -hmm. and also on Facebook, it's the same thing. I IDA program. Wow, I think this is awesome that you're doing this, Tim. And yeah. the people you get to meet, I'm sure, too. The, you said they're not just young kids. It can be any, any age group, correct? Oh, yeah. We, this last program we had, my God, we had uh, two, two kids. I mean, actually, one of them, uh, he's 11 years old. His name is Mason Pace. He's a little, little rocker. And we played this big festival last weekend in the Everglades, mm -hmm. Everglades City, you know, thousands of people. And I had him come out and, and play the encore with me and sing. Mm -hmm. And uh, it was what an experience for him to go out in front of thousands of people and, and perform, which was which was really cool. But these kids are incredibly talented. Mm -hmm. And then we had one person. I, I don't want to. I'm not sure what his age was, but uh, he's like a Latin singer, and mm -hmm. he had to be, you know, 40s or 50s. So mm -hmm. we have every every age group in in the mm -hmm. program, and really talented people. And to be around these people and to be working with them. Um, it's, I'm really excited because Mark Hudson, the one who, the, the guy who, he was in the Hudson Brothers way back in the day, 
guy's amazing, amazing um, songwriter and producer. And uh, I'm actually cutting one of his songs that we're, we're cutting it now. Mm -hmm. And it's going to be my next single. And Great. he wrote it for the Eagles. Oh, wow. Awesome, Tim. <laughs> yeah. I can't wait to hear this. Yes, I was just going to ask, what are you working on song-wise right now? A new album? Yes. Um, I'm working on a, on, a, on a new album, and we're going to start with that single. And what I'm doing is I'm going to record it with Jason Aldean's players, because I'm good friends with Jason Aldean's band in Nashville. So we're going to record it with them, and we're going to start with the Mark Hudson single that he wrote for the Eagles. Great. So I can't wait for you guys to hear it. Oh, yeah, we, I can't wait either. And when will it be released? Um, it'll probably be about a month and a half. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So what would you say are you most looking forward to in 2013, Tim? Is there one thing in particular? Oh, definitely the new album. Mm -hmm. Because I'm going to do a, we're going to do a single and then we're going to complete the full album after that. So mm -hmm. um, we're looking at the beginning of the summer to launch it. It's going to be, again, it's going to be Nashville based. It's going to be a little more country, you know, country rock. And I'm excited because I, I, I've written the best songs that I think I've written so far for this album. So mm -hmm. um, I just can't wait for everyone to hear it and to be able to, uh, you know, do the album with such great, important icons in the music business mm -hmm. um, is just extremely exciting for me. So Great. And where are you headed after Miami, Tim? We're going back to Nashville. Back to Nashville. And, uh, to record the album. And then we're going to go to New England for a few months. And we have a lot of great festivals and fairs and um, opening spots for more national acts. Just awesome. coming up, yeah. So you've got a busy, busy year up ahead. Yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> it's just getting started, but big things are definitely in store for you. Thank you for being back on the show. Hopefully, we can get you back in Key West soon. Definitely. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we're going to take a quick break right now. I'll be right back after these messages. Stay with me.